guys welcome back to another episode of rose fishing here um you guys are probably wondering in the beginning of the video why am i carrying a huge bag out of a closet well today i'm gonna go through my spring what i have set up for my spring well what i have set up for spawn fishing this year this bag i'm not gonna lie it's pretty heavy but i have everything in it that i need so when I'm out in the lake, I won't have to worry about not having something that I need. So we're just going to start from the top and make our way down to the bottom of the bag. If you're wondering, it is a Cabela's Series uh, tackle, ba tackle backpack. I'll leave a link in the video to, uh, to the Cabela's website where you can find this bag. It's pretty nice and it's affordable. Um, before I made the video, this happened. Again, it broke on me. So, using my GoPro small tripod, and it's not very uh, stable, so I apologize in advance if the video is a little shaky because every time I hit the table, it shakes. It'll probably fall a couple times, so I might have a little blooper here at the end. So, first thing, right when you open the bag, I have this massive double whopper plopper so I got this last year in a mystery tackle box and I think the retail value was like $19.99 so I was like I don't know if I ever use this but last year this is how this thing's huge as you can see it's like the it's like the normal whopper plopper that I have in here I'll show you guys later but yeah it's huge uh, I'll probably, I think this might be a game changer this year. Last year we pulled out the Whopper Ploppers and the bass went crazy for them. So maybe since they've never seen this, they might hit it a lot. I don't know. And it's a River to Sea product, just like the other Whopper Ploppers. All right, now let's get into my soft plastics and I'll start from the side here. What's first? I'll go through this. So how I organize this, I have them in Ziploc bags so they can sit vertically in the bag. This first bag is like my ribbed shads. I got some Havoc rib shads. I really like the Havoc brand. You'll see here later on. And then some stuff I got in Lucky and Mystery Tackle Box. And then some flukes. So that's the first baggie and there's only four packs in here because I'm not a big uh, not a big swim bait guy at all so I like I like those rib I like the power bait rib shads but that's probably about it for swim baits all right next baggie here is my craws as you can see I'll put them in the bag and when they're stacked it's like these are sitting next to each other and they'll sit vertically in the bag I really utilized these Ziploc bags this year. I didn't do this last year. I'm not going to go through this whole bag because I have it set up. I have it in there pretty tight. But I have some Yum Black and Blue. And these are Christy Craws. It says to use a 4 out offset hook. I like to use 3 out 3 out hooks because it's more action with your bait. And it looks more realistic. So I just Texas rigged those. Texas rig mostly everything. All right, next bag here. Look at that. that. This is probably the second largest bag I have. These are my beavers. And I said I like Havoc. I wasn't kidding. I think I have three other bags in here of Havoc beavers. There's actually one color in here that they don't have anymore that I'm kind of upset about. California. Uh, if you can talk to Havoc about it, please do. Because that color was key last year. And this is the big Texan color. And it it works just as well. But the California, that bass just... About every other cast, I was catching them on the California. I'm glad I have a full pack left. But once that pack's gone, it'll be sad. I don't know if they just don't do that color anymore. Where I shop, they don't carry it. 
but I didn't see it at Bass Pro. And the only area around here we can shop soft plastics is uh, Shields, which is like not a very, not a lot of states actually have that store. So, all right, we'll just keep, we'll keep moving along here. I don't want to talk your guys' ear off. So then I have another bag of beavers actually, and there's, hold on, I'll show you, show you a brand I just saw I think last year. And this is the reaction. It's kind of smashed together in there. It's the reaction innovation beavers and our sweet beaver 4.2. This is a 10 count bag, which is nice because these are actually pretty cheap for 10. And this is the juicy killer. They don't look they look juicy. Can't you probably can't see, but they're probably juicy. These are actually uh, my friend Lance Woods in the Midwest. I'm probably I've he's been in my videos before. He got me. He told me to get these last year. I don't think I ever used them, but he really liked them because they were more. The plastic was better than the uh, Havocs. Because we go out to this lake that we we've just started fishing last year. And we go through a pack of Havocs in one day, and there's eight in there. And normally, whenever you go fishing, you'll use maybe half a pack of the other stuff. And it's like, I don't, I don't know, but I really like Havoc. I don't know if I ever, I don't know. Just, I like Havoc. You can hate on me if you want. And then the next bag we got here, my finesse stuff. This is... I have it all jammed in here, and I'll go show you this. Got these at Bass Pro about a month ago, maybe. The Zoom Trick Worm Watermelon Seed. This is a 20 pack, and these are some. These are long. I think these are eight inches. I'm trying to. I used these today when I went fishing. I did not catch anything. I made five casts. And I caught a stick. You'll see it on Instagram shortly. But these, I think these are 8 inch worms. And they're probably the longest worms that I will... Probably the longest bait I'll fish all year. For soft plastics. But I used those last year. Just after the ice got off. Probably, well probably 2 or 3 weeks after the ice was off. Just cast right on the shore where the fish were starting to bed, and it was the fish went the bass went crazy. It was awesome. All right, my next bag here. I actually have two bags in here. These are my soft plastic frogs. The ribbit, rib, the ribbit, rib, the ribbit, ribbit brand. I just got these last year. I didn't I actually didn't even open the pack. Yeah, never opened the pack. And I got the hooks for them and everything, but I just never got the chance to use them. I'm going to try to go through most of my soft plastics this year before I start buying other stuff. Because, you know, if you fish as often as me, you know how much soft plastics cost. And it's not, it's not fun to spend hundreds of dollars on soft plastics if you don't need to. So I'm going to try to get through all my stuff this year so I can restock up. Alright, next bag here. You always have to have Senkos. I actually have, this bag holds three to four tackle trays. I was able to fit four, and one of them is all my other Senkos, but I just have three bags of Senkos in here. Got watermelon red. I got this in a Cabela's bass bucket, I think two years ago, and I still have a bunch of bait that I ordered, that I got from that. And then I got two packs of Smart Baits. These are actually the Lucky Tackle Box ones that I did in my last unboxing. And I think these are from Mystery Tackle Box a couple years ago. Um, I I will use Senkos quite a bit this year. I mean, when you... That's kind of like my... What do you call it? Comfortable bait. Like, if I'm not catching fish, I know I can catch fish on that. So if I can't, if I can't catch fish, I'll throw on some Senkos. And, you know, you always catch fish on that. All right, my next one... These are all my creature baits, like brush hogs and lizards. 
I'll go through. This is these. This you're probably like, this is came with my Cabela's too, and these are here. I'll pull them out. I've I'm in love with these brush hawks. Like these, they're like I don't know if you can. See, they're like a shade of purple, but then they have black and blue sparkles on the inside, and the bass love them. Like I didn't know purple works so good. I knew black and blue was good, but then purple, black and blue, this is awesome. Like I. As soon as I started using them, fell in love with them. Absolutely recommend them. I got those in the Cabela's Bass Bucket as well. I, there's probably 30 or 40 of those alone in that Bass Bucket. And when you get the Bass Bucket, the the baits aren't uh, the baits aren't sorted for you already, so you have to sort through them. So that's why I have all the stuff I got from that in extra baggies. But then I have my trailer swim baits that came in packages, just in an extra pocket inside the bag. Got these. I had. I'm throwing these and these on my black blue chatter bait and for my trailers, and I think they will work. Plenty fine this year. I'm excited to use. I've not really been a chatterbait fisherman at all, but I'm excited to start throwing it this year, and I have those as my trailers. Then the zipper on the top. You always got to have your sunscreen, even though I don't think I ever used sunscreen last year. But I definitely recommend using sunscreen because you get sunburnt like me, and I was red, very red. All right, and then there's extra pockets in the bag. I'm, I'd like to show you guys the bag, but I'm just videoing on my phone, so maybe at the end I'll go, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, I got a line through shad swim bait right here, and I just leave it in the package because I don't want to lose the hook that comes with it, that big old treble hook inside there. I think I've only used, I might have used that once, or maybe, I don't know. Then I got a live target rat last year. Never used this. The reason why, you guys know how much live target stuff costs. It's like, this alone is probably $13. Yeah, I'm scared to lose it. I mean, I use braids, so I won't break off, but it's just thought of using it scares you. And always, you got to have a whopper flopper. Like last year, I caught so many fish on this. Like, here, I'll pull it out. So show you guys if you don't know what a whopper plopper is you need to go get one they are expensive but they are definitely worth I think the $15 for it so as you can see I still got my tagline on there I need to cut that off but how this works it's a topwater bait and as it comes across the top this part right here just spins on the water and it makes it it's noisy so the it attracts the fish and the they went crazy for it. It just, it just spins, and it's got very sharp hooks on here. Like, I haven't sharpened these hooks. I got this last year, and they are still extremely sharp. So I definitely recommend having a whopper plopper in your tackle um, arsenal if you do not already. So that's everything in the top of my bag. Now let's go through the bottom to where I have my tackle trays and it's always always have to have a bag of seeds with you while you're fishing I keep that in the side compartment just so I have some because I always like to have seeds when I'm fishing all right so as I said earlier I have a Senko box I did I bought this box I think at Walmart as you can see I still left it was a yum box but I converted it into all my Senko stuff, and I'll go through some some of the stuff I have in here. So I got a box. Uh, I got a pack of black yum swim bait, or not swim baits, Senkos. And I just, I think I have four, I have, I have four left, and I put them in here. And then I have my wacky rig tool with my O-rings on it. I have two of these full of O-rings. And then I have some spare O-rings in the box still so I'll have plenty of those then I have 
I got these in the Cabela's Bass Bucket also. White and chartreuse. Uh, Senkos. These are actually... They're weighted, so they fall faster to the bottom. Then I got a bunch of weedless hooks. Um, we got some wacky seedless hooks in here, or weedless hooks also. And they got red, red weedless hooks. So I'm set for Senko fishing. Box number one. We got three more to go. So this one, it doesn't have very much stuff in it. It's because the other two boxes are full. But I have my assorted jerk baits. Gotta love when they get all tangled up in your tackle tray. When you're fishing and you're trying to go fast, you end up hooking yourself. So just be smart about that. And then got that jerk bait from uh Luck tackle box in here. Got some crank baits. I actually really like this one. I think this is a Strike King. Very loud bait. I think it's a five to seven diving, and then this is a three to five balsa, I think. I don't know, I'm not very good on my uh, knowing my brands and stuff, so I. If you guys ever ask me questions about what I'm using, I probably won't be able to answer you. I'll just say it's a crankbait. I don't know brands and all that. Then the next box is my terminal tackle. Most of the stuff in here is from Eagle Claw, so I can answer like my hooks and everything. Got flipping hooks. Um, got some. I can put my stand-up hooks in here. Got my worm weights. These are tungsten worm weights from Eagle Claw. I got other warm hooks. I got a bunch of black metallic three-aught three -aught hooks here. And those are Eagle Claw. And I got my swim bait. Swim bait hooks. I think these are quarter ounce hooks. Um, what else we got in here? There's a whole bunch of stuff. Swim bait hooks. Oh, here's that for the ribbit soft plastic. These are the frog hooks. You had to buy these different. I just got these at Shields like last year and I bought them. So it's a, you got the twist on and then you Texas rig the tails of the, or just before the tails of the frog, you Texas rig them into these hooks and these are very sharp hooks. All right, what else we got in here? You got your um, worm weight stops probably not the right name for those and i got some chatter baits some football jigs and then just other miscellaneous stuff that i don't need to go over drop shot hooks and weights in there so now we're on to the last box this is all my other crank baits and top water all that kind of stuff in here oh lipless yeah lipless crank baits so i got this actually came in a it's like a beginner's kit in the Eagle Claw box, and I just, it's a lipless crankbait. I don't know how well it'll work, but I know, lipless crankbaits would be good to be ripping through all the seaweed and stuff. And then another one, sexy shad color. Um, we got some square bills. Or, no, yep, square bills. Some more deeper crankbaits. I got my. Another rat top water like frog kind of thing going. And look at these tails are really long. Probably gonna have to trim these quite a bit. And then so I used to get the live target frogs because they worked really well. But this is actually a spro top water frog. I really like the spro frogs now. They just I wouldn't say they're more they're not very much different from Lucky or live target, but they're like three dollars cheaper, so you might as well. Then you got your top water bluegill. I've actually never used this, but it'll come in handy someday, I'm sure. And then got your ploppers, everything you know, you know, how you throw everything in the tackle tray, and you're like, All right, I'll need this, but I hope I need it quick, and then you get it all tangled up. And, uh, 
struggling right now. Wait till I get out of the water. And I have a hook in my hand. Okay. And then, I don't know what this bill is called. I should say it's an L. I use this when we go out for trout. I had one of these. And I hit it on a bridge and actually broke the bill. So I, had to I bought another one just because it worked so good. But that's all my tackle trays and stuff. I'll go through some of my supplies I carry with me. 12 seconds later. All right, got all my supplies out of the box that I carry with me. There's a lot right in front of me. It's gonna be a hassle putting this bag back together because there's just so much things that go into it. All right, I'll go try to go fast since this video is gonna be long enough anyways. Got my needle nose pliers. You always have to have a set of pliers even though I have like four. So then I got some more. These are easier with like panfish. Because it's smaller. We like we use these a lot in ice fishing. These come in handy. But I also got some curved needle nose pliers. And these are actually, I figured out that they're more, they're easier to like maneuver when they're in the fish's mouth particularly like a bluegill or something and then I also got a kind of like a Swiss Army knife but you know it's not Swiss Army it's actually Ozark Trail this is really nice use this to open up my luck tackle boxes so if you guys were curious you've probably seen these a couple times it comes in a nice package it actually has a belt loop on the back so if I'm wearing a belt I'll lift my jeans I don't do that often I can put these on my waist it's nice and you always got to have your line clippers these are like big toenail clippers but I use them for fishing anyway just if you were curious and you always got to have a scale this is like I I had a scale and I lost one and I got that one for my birthday so that's really really key and I got two things worm weights these are tungsten and these are just normal worm weights I never really used tungsten worm weights, but you gotta change things up. Here, I got some really, look at, these are like an ounce. An ounce worm weight. These are big. Oh, put it in the wrong compartment there. All right, and then last thing I have, is Yum Scent. And I won this on an app. It's actually called the National Pro Staff app. I'll leave a link in the description. It's actually a referral link from me. So if you guys get this, if you guys want to try this app out, they have like a prize wheel you can spin on every day. I, I don't think I've spun today, so maybe I'll show you guys how it works. But you can win free gear and win points, win you can win a month of premium where you can get stuff shipped for free and the prize wheel is a lot better i haven't won that yet then there's one where you get free shipping get discounts on stuff it's not very very nice app and you can also get it sends you like when sponsors are looking for people or sponsors are looking for pro staff they send out applications on there I've not done any because it's $25 per application that you apply for. So I'm like, I'm still in high school. I don't need to really worry about sponsors quite yet. But it'll come in handy if you're like really, if you're in, out of high school or college. It, I don't know, maybe that app would be helpful to get some sponsors. But I recommend it if you're looking in just to get nice stuff. It it's a reliable app. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to Cranked Fishing. This is a flipping jig. It's quarter ounce watermelon red. And I just got this stuff yesterday. I like this sticker. It's a cool, cool sticker there. I don't know what I'll put that on. Maybe I'll put it on my vehicle or something. But I really like this jig. Not really been a big, big into jig fishing because I haven't caught very many fish on jigs. But this is really high quality stuff they have on their channel, or their, not channel, their website. I'll link, I'll leave a link to that. Also, a lot of links in this video. Um, 
to their website. They offer sponsorships with pro staff. I'm on their pro staff. So go ahead and check it out. And oh, what else? Is there? Tell them I sent you. If you're going to apply for pro staff, tell them I sent you. It'll help me out. But I think... Oh, I'm going to show you guys this. It's another thing I have on the bag. I actually broke this, as you can see. When I go to close it, it should close. I broke it. I don't know how. So what I have to do is put these link pieces together. So it'll close on that. But some of you guys may not even ever seen what know what this thing is. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You use it if you don't want to put this under the fish's gill. So when you turn your scale on, you gotta make sure you have this on so it zeroes it out. But you clamp this on a fish's here, I'll show you. Clamp this on a fish's lip, and it locks tight, and the fish can't move. So it's better than stabbing this thing into their gill, and they can start bleeding, or through their lip. I mean, if I was, a, I think about when I'm fishing, like, what, it, what does that feel like with the hook? And sometimes I, like, poke a hook. No, I'm just kidding. Like, just jabbing that right there. I just think about, like, what if, what if that were me? I wouldn't like that. So I got this. Fortunately, it broke, but I still use it because it comes in handy if you have like a really big fish, like a four pounder, a three, actually a three plus pounder. They really freak out when you put this thing in their gill and they start bleeding and everything. And this really helps with that problem. So I just leave that on the bag. I think that's everything to go through with the bag. This video is long enough, so I'm going to make another video about what I use for what I use for fishing, like my rods, my reels, my line, and what I have hooked up, rigged up already. I'll make another video for that. So go ahead and check that one out after this one. But if you guys made it this far, thank you for watching. This is a very I'd say this is probably one of my longest videos. Thank you for making it this far. As always, Shep and Fish, Rose Fishing, signing out. Uh -huh.